hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'll be teaching you how to lift your line art from the paper so you can color under it digitally so first what you can do is you can scan your drawing but i chose to take a picture of my line art because my scanner at home is not really good at scanning and for those who doesn't have a scanner you can use your phone or I what I used is my iPad Pro what I did is that I um, placed my sketchbook near a window and it's best to take your picture when it's bright outside but you don't want to Take a picture of your drawing right directly under the sun. You have to be far away from the window, but where the light is kind of like whitish and that you can actually see the color of your drawing. Just at least far away enough that you can take a picture that's clear enough to see. So here are my photos that I took and I keep taking them, taking them until I find the one that I want to use. So I felt like this one is the best one out of all because it looks similar to my drawing. There's no shadow kind of like going over my drawing, it's like mostly white. It's more, it's like really clear when I zoom in. So I'll be sending this to my computer. What's great about the iPad is that I can airdrop to my MacBook. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open it in Photoshop. So I'm going to open a new document that I'm going to paste my drawing in. Command A to select all. Command C to copy, Command V to paste, and I'm going to resize my drawing. So what I do first when I'm going to lift the line art is that I turn down the saturation so it's black and white. You can find the hue and saturation in this button right here or you can adjustments and you will find the same thing but I find it faster to just click here I'm going to merge this together actually first I'm going to um, dupe I'm going to duplicate this layer the um, picture because I want to make sure that I'm not like if I want to go back so command E to merge the hue and saturation layer I'm going to open up levels and going to darken my line art and like, make the white pop a little more And you can see there's like shadow shadows here. I want my drawing to not show those shadows, so I'm going to like fix. I want to make sure the line is dark enough that I see it. And I don't want the white to be too bright that my line won't be able to see and I kind of like the paper texture so I want that to be shown in my drawing and this is right here is the mask the white 
makes everything show the level but um, I feel like the level made this part a little too bright so I'm going to use I'm going to like it's kind of like an eraser like the black is the eraser and the white part is what it's like showing so you see I feel like this part is too bright So I didn't use completely black because I still wanted some of the level to change this part so I kind of use like a gray and now like the colors are mostly good so you can see like the line kind of popped a little more so I'm gonna merge that down I feel like this part is still a little dark it still sees a little shadow so I'm gonna Brighten up a little again And I don't want my liner to look like that So I'm going to invert Image adjustment Invert Or Command I So now it's black I'm gonna use White Whitish Gray and I'm gonna reveal the level right here. It's a little too bright. I'm gonna go a little more gray. Still feel like a little bright. I just want to be a little bright, just a little bit brighter. And I'm also using the circle one of the gradient now I'm kind of fixing the part that I feel like it looks a little too dark so now I'm going to merge this down command E so now this is actual the lifting part um, I'm going to go to adjustments It's an image adjustment And invert the drawing So the line art becomes white The background is kind of black I'm gonna press command A to select all Command C and now I'm going to go to channels You can find channels in windows If you don't have channels open, just click on channels right here I'm going to make a new layer right here And it says alpha 1 I'm going to command V I'm gonna go back to layers and going to make a new layer I'm gonna turn off the drawing right here and deselect just clicking somewhere and I'm going to right click and go to load selection if I go to channel it will say alpha 1 so I'll click that and press ok and it will show me the line art part selected so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and press fill 100% um, normal blending I'm gonna press black So I pressed OK So now if you make a new layer under you can color under it what I see other artists do is that um, they make so they have a scan or a picture and they make a new layer and set the mode right here. 
they set the mode to um, multiply or overlay but then the color you put on is not the same color as the color you picked and when you want to correct something and choose the color with um, alt like the color picker it's not the same color so you'll have to like turn off the um, the picture to get the actual color and that's a lot of work so I rather lift my liner and just color under like this another cool thing you can do is that um, you can color change the color of the line art you lifted so I'm gonna make create a clipping mask and let's say I wanted this to be like a dark reddish color I'm gonna just fill and now like the line art is all kind of like reddish black and overall it's kind of red um, you can erase the um, paper texture around the, draw the drawing if you want to for me it's easier to erase because um, I've kind of do like in the painting style so I'm gonna paint it around anyway so like I kind of erase as I go if I want to it's your choice I hope this helped you if you have any questions just write down in the comments this is something I think only Photoshop can do. I don't think Procreate can lift the line art. So if I'm going to um, color in Procreate, I will probably use the multiply and overlay um, layer. I will just like put the base color and then just start painting over it. But sometimes I find the line art really appealing to me and I want to keep it so I would put it on Photoshop, lift the line art, and then put it back in Procreate and continue coloring it. So yeah, so, um, see you in the next video. Bye.